Well, this unexpected fire has left the community of Lahaina devastated. Terry Esparza moved to El Paso after meeting her husband in the Navy, but her heart is in Lahaina. This is beautiful and it's downtown. It's like an old, old colonial town, I think, you know, just wood, wood made out of wood, everybody. Uh, the walkway next to the ocean, you know, the pier, the harbor. That is how Terry Esparza describes Lahaina, her hometown where her childhood home was and where her brother Albert, along with his wife Janet, were living. I looked on the TV and I saw the helicopter going by, you know, they were filming whatever they were up there. <laughs> and I kept telling uh, my son, do you see it? Do you see it? You see the house, you know, and all we saw was smoke. It wasn't until two days of desperation that Terry finally connected with her brother. In my heart, I was anxious, but then I knew, okay, I, he's a survivor. He'll, he knows what to do. Those survivor skills are part of the culture growing up in Lahaina. Any child that grows up near the ocean, they know the waters. They, they learn, you know, where to go, where not to go. When she finally spoke to her brother, he was distraught as he described watching the flames take over. And I, he said, Terry, you know, we had no chance. I mean, we were out in the backyard in the patio and we could see the flames on the hillside and the smoke and the wind blowing. The Esparza family has deep history in Hawaii. The home, no longer standing, was built in 1964 by her grandfather on gifted land by the King of Maui. Now, Terry grieves for her town and cherishes the memories. And I believe the people of Lahaina, you know, they'll bounce back. They're strong, they're unity. A piece of Lahaina resides here in El Paso, and the Esparza family is asking for their El Paso Ohana, their family, to help. They have created a GoFundMe to help support their family, and we have linked that page on KBIA.com.